What is going on guys, my name is Baron or Developer B, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an anti-curse plugin. And what we're going to need for this anti-curse plugin is to use a new event that I'm going to show you guys today. And we are going to need a listener class like we have done in the past. I have this set up already, so you guys can just go ahead and look at that. On my introduction to listeners tutorial, pretty basic. It shows you how to do this and other stuff. So it'll provide a basic listener thing. Go check that out if you haven't seen it already. And here is the main class. And we're using a configuration file. If you haven't seen the configuration files episode, go and check that out too. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So Let's go back in here and we're going to go ahead and use this new event. So type in event handler. I'm going to say public void on player chat. And this is going to be an async player chat event E. And what this is going to do is it is going to track the player chat section of Minecraft. And whenever you send a message, this is going to be called out. And this is where we are going to check for cursing and other things. So whenever a player types a message, we're gonna say if you don't get message, or wait, first we are going to check if the config has our word or it even exists, if the section even exists. So this is how our config is actually going to be structured. We are going to have something called curse, or just words actually, words. And then it's going to be a list like this. So like we can say a donut, or Apple, you know, whatever. And we are going to check and see if the message contains these words and see if it works. So let's go ahead and say plugin.getconfig.get string list. We're using a string list, that's what this is. And it's going to be called words. If that equals null, then we're going to return. And we're pretty much saying if this doesn't exist, then we're not gonna do anything and we're not gonna check for anything. So it doesn't give an error whenever it tries to look for it. But now we are going to look for it. So this is, a, this is really basic, it's only a few lines of code, but it is really effective in keeping the chat clean. So let's go ahead and say for string word plugin dot get config dot get string list of words. And we're gonna loop through every word in this list so we're going to loop through these two words but in essence so it's going to loop twice and we have this string word right here and this is going to represent each item in here if you don't know what a for each loop is if you don't know that part of java this will definitely help you i learned this like while learning buckets so you guys should start to get the hang of this for each loop. It's very useful. So let's go ahead now and we're gonna say if you don't get message and what the methods are inside of this event, there are a lot of different methods, but we are going to be focusing on get message and set canceled because these are the two that we're gonna use for anti-curse. And we have a lot of different other ones like get recipients, which are the players that are receiving the message and you can remove and add them in a bunch of stuff set message so changing the message and stuff set format there's a bunch of different things so we're going to use get message and we're going to check if it contains word and if it contains word then we are going to send the player a message saying not to curse because that means they have cursed if their message contains one of these words that's what we're checking for and we're going to tell the player we're going to say please don't curse in chat and obviously this is really basic but you can make it more advanced if you want to like ban the player like warn it in your own warn plugin there's a bunch of different things you can do but this is the most basic tutorial of this so we're going to say that and we're going to say e.set canceled true and what this is going to do is make sure that the message is not sent in chat and no one can see it and of course you can say e.set message and actually change the word to asterisks or whatever there's a bunch of different things that you could do but we're just going to cancel it and that is actually pretty much it there's nothing else that we need to do and it's really basic like you guys even saw how basic that was there's nothing that we have to do and that's literally it so here's the plugin.yml 
nothing here at all. We don't need anything. Here is the plugin. I always have the code in the description. So if you don't know like the code or you just want to copy it and see if it works, I have the code down in the description and it will work. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. But let's go ahead and build this. So build artifacts, anti-curse, build. And I'm already on Minecraft. So let's go ahead and go over to that. Boom boom and now we can reload and is anti-curse on there yes it is i see anti-curse and if we do slash pl anti-curse is in fact on there so let's go ahead and actually go into the thingy which is the config so let's go in here and there's going to be nothing inside of here obviously so if we type something like if we type donut or whatever it's not going to work but if we go inside of here and type words right and then donut and uh, apple and we save it now what's going to check so if we go inside of here oh I forgot something else too you want to make sure right here that you break I almost forgot this break out of here because this message if it contains a word then you don't want to loop through every single word if it only contains one curse word the first word that it finds you want to break so it saves time and it makes the plugin more efficient. So make sure to do that. I almost forgot about that because it'll make it'll make your plugin more efficient. Just build that and reload, and now it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and try this. So if we say donut, it's gonna say please do not curse in chat or please don't curse in chat. And if we say I want an apple, it's like please don't curse curse in chat and I say I want a donut with an apple it's gonna say it again but it's only gonna find donut it's not gonna find apple in that sentence because we told it to break after we find a curse word if that makes any sense that's a good explanation of that but thank you guys for watching that was a really basic tutorial on an anti-curse plugin and we're gonna start getting into some more advanced things it's episode 9 already and we've been doing some basic stuff a lot but we're gonna start escalating it a little bit getting a little bit more advanced maybe start getting into intermediate stuff but it's still going to be kind of basic but really want to start getting into some more of that so you guys aren't just like stuck in the beginner phase so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in episode 10